ladies and gentlemen welcome to another update on the ether merge as i told you initially at any point in time we have a new update we'll bring it to you and in this update we'll be talking about some few things that is happening within the merge so let's begin this week under review, the Ethereum network took one step closer to the real merge part. That means they are very, very ready for the merge. And what they did that was so spectacular within the week was that the Bellatrix consensus, which I always refer to as a aka a bacon chain upgrade has been activated that is one of the things i did that is giving us hope that the merge will actually take place meaning that the last hard fork before the long awaited switch from proof of work to proof of stake is now on and it is working so for now things are moving smoothly as expected and uh, we are just waiting for days that we set for the match to happen to come. Alongside other things are taking place within the system the way it should be. And uh, the engineers are up working. Recently, an engineer at the consensus noted that about 5% of node did not update in time for the upgrade. That maybe as a result of challenges or one or two hitches, as I told you, they are putting things in place. But they have promised that they will get things fixed up pretty quick, which is what they are there for. So there is about 90% hope that things are in place and we are waiting for things to really go as planned. What this means for Bellatrix activation is that the main network is getting ready for the merge. But according to the CEO of uh, Ethereum, Vitalix Buter, this is the moment where the mining difficulty on proof of work will become too difficult and the proof of stake, the Bacon chain, will become the main chain. So, after the switch or after the merge, the bacon change will become the main chain and the, the proof of work will reduce a lot of uh, energy that has been expended in that area to get things done. So, the, even the, the atmosphere, the ecosystem, to become more friendly concerning the reduction of the mining rig since we are moving from the proof of work to the proof of stake. My advice, my advice is that if you have some ETA in your exchange account, relax. Like I said in my previous video, if you can take a break, it's better. So if you have ether there, just relax. Let's watch out. And then sometimes I like to ask, what does issues like this hold for you as a user of ether, as a holder of ether, as a trader of ether? In one simple answer, what I'll tell you is that. What it holds for you is what I can say increase or decrease, gain or loss, more money or less money, depending on the way the merge will go. We cannot say specifically that this is what is coming, but everything is under prediction and keeping with faith we believe that everything will be fine some 
few days now we've seen some rise in percentage in the value of ether and that means more money for you secondly it may be a nice time to hold your ether still an advice it may be a nice time as i use the word may because i can't tell you i'm very sure it may be a nice time to hold your ether something good will likely happen if you are a validator then you need to update update your system so that you can validate properly and if you want to be a validator then prepare because the validator in the proof of stake will require large capital for you to be a validator there and that is why i use the word prepare you need to prepare if you want to be one we have come to the end of this quick update thank you for sticking around god bless you subscribe to our channel and support this channel so that we can bring you more interesting videos like this and as you subscribe you will always be the first to know when videos like this are released thank you for watching and see you in our next video